Zebby's Little Audios. <laughs> well, well, well. What are you doing in my chamber, servant? <laughs> Did you do all your chores like I asked? Out with it. I haven't got all day. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think you got your chores done. No. You've been fooling around again, haven't you? Don't lie to me. I could see it in your face. You were playing with your toys again, weren't you? Yes, I know, I know. Don't try to hide it from me. Daddy knows. Daddy knows exactly when you're acting bad. And not getting your work done. How should I punish you? Should I throw some of your toys into the burning lava pit outside? Should I send you to the pit of screaming children for the next hmm, ten years? Maybe that will learn you a lesson. <laughs> I'm only teasing you. I'm not going to do that. But you do have chores to get done. Just like all my other demons. And you, my little love, you will be no different than them. You will get punished when you don't do them. But you will get praised when you do. So tell me, what did you get done? <laughs> you fed my dogs, you swept the floor, you cleaned the bathroom. Mm. Well, all right. You did quite a bit today. I suppose I should let you off the hook. Here. Come here. It's not often that me and you bond. We get to have moments with each other. But I think I'm going to make an exception right now. Come here. Don't be nervous. I said, come here. Don't make me ask you again. Sit on my lap. Here we are. Comfy? <laughs> hmm. You're daddy's little demon, aren't you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're all mine. My little demon spawn. Mm. Since you came to me, I've noticed you've changed. You're no longer innocent by any means. Oh no, lovely. It seems the dark magic's working its wonders on you. You are becoming a loyal follower of your devil daddy. <laughs> the eyes of a little demon. <laughs> mm. 
the heart of a demon. And the blood of a demon. You're becoming quite the little demon, aren't you? And you're all mine, too. <laughs> what a wonderful, wonderful child you've turned out to be. Getting your chores done. And getting more evil with every day. <laughs> I'm so glad you're by my side. I'm so glad I get to call you mine. I'm so glad I get to see your true potential. The power within you is growing every day. Soon. You might even pass me. I might give you my throne. <laughs> but it won't be for a few thousand years. You'll have to do exactly what I say until then. And listen to every word carefully. Because if you don't, I'll feed you to my dogs. Just kidding, I won't do that to you. I could never do that to you. But it is a little scare tactic, I think. Did it work? <laughs> Are you afraid of me? Do you fear me? I'll show you the true capabilities of being evil, of being a demon. Yeah. <laughs> I have to teach you how to possess things. And I don't mean ownership. I mean actually take the body of another living creature. A mortal creature. It's really fascinating. Oh, but that's a very advanced technique. I don't think you're ready yet. No. You are still what I would say... Training wheels. For a demon. That's what you are. That's what you have. You're not capable of that dark energy yet. Those dark spells and magic. And the ability to turn into anything at will. One day. One day you will be. <laughs> but until that day comes... You need to learn to listen to me. Because as of right now, I severely outrank you. And I do mean severely. I can create fire just by raising my fingers. I can set someone on fire with my mind. I could fill your mouth with sand. I can make your butt cheeks itch for hours and hours and hours and you won't be able to satisfy the itch. I can do so many more evil things. <laughs> Some things I can't talk about. Some things are too advanced for even comprehension. But as long as you listen to me and do as you're told and obey me, 
We'll be fine. We will get along just fine, little baby. Now, I have a little mission for you. We'll see how intelligent you are. I want you to go to the mortal world. And you're going to bring me a Nintendo Switch. Yes, that's right. I've always wanted a Nintendo Switch. But, you know, being cast to the underworld, I'm unable to go to the surface at this time. Just snag one. I'm on probation. Unfortunately, I'll be trapped down here. Roughly 400 more years. But I keep hearing about this Nintendo Switch. And the glorious capabilities it has. So. You, my little pet. You're going to climb up to the living world. And disguise yourself as a little human. And then. You're going to go into the nearest game store. And you know what you're going to do? <sighs> you're going to purchase me a Nintendo Switch. Yeah. Would you think I was going to tell you to steal it? What, are you a criminal? No. No, little one. We do not steal. Although stealing is pretty evil. <laughs> You're going to go purchase me a Nintendo Switch. And I'm going to play it for days straight. <laughs> mm, yes. Now. Off with you. I don't want to see you until you bring me my gaming system. Go. Go, now. No, I'm not joking. Go. Go bring me a Nintendo Switch. Come on, I'm, I'm thirsty for video games. Come on. Good. <laughs> Good. Make your devil daddy happy. Oh, it's you. Are you back? Did you get my Nintendo Switch like I asked? Oh, <gasps> you have it. Give it here. Oh, it's simply glorious. Oh, look at these buttons. On oh, the sticks. And the comfortable grip. Oh, my. And it's got a little stand, too. So I could just sit it right on my desk. <laughs> what games did you get for me? What? You didn't get me any games? <sighs> you didn't get me Zebra Cart or Legend of Zebby or Zebimon or Zebby Air Allegiance. You didn't get me any games? Ooh, this is just a glorified paperweight. I didn't tell you to get any games? Well, I suppose that is true. I didn't really say to get me a game. I just told you to buy me a Switch. But you could have at least picked up, I don't know, Zabopoli for me. Well, I can't be mad at you. 
You did get me a fine system. Mmm, the craftsmanship. Definitely beautiful. A fine piece of technology from Earth. Too bad I can't go to the surface. Not yet, at least. I'd pick out my own games. All right, little one. New mission. You're going to return back to the surface, and you're going to purchase me three games. Is that clear? <laughs> delightful. Simply delightful. Now go up there. And don't take too long. I'm impatient. <laughs> hmm. I can't be too mad. They did get me a Nintendo Switch like I asked. And it turns on. And it's got the comfort grips. And the cables. And it turns on okay. And it smells nice. Fresh. Clean. Never used. I'm proud of my little one. <laughs> they actually did a good job. Little one, is that you? Ah, you're back again. Good, welcome back. Were you able to get me my games? Oh, I see. You know what? Here. You keep it. No, I insist. It's... It's wonderful, it really is, but... The more I think about it, the more I'd like you to have it. As a little gift to you. And all your hard work you do. Consider it a... Gift. A token of my appreciation for what you do for me. Now, don't let me catch you playing it on your duty days when you need to be doing your chores. Because you know what's going to happen. I'm going to have to take it from you. Mm-hmm. Don't make me be a bad parent. I never want to be a bad parent. No. <laughs> Only a good one. Only a crazy one. Continue to do good things for me, sweetie. And you'll go far. Eventually, you might even earn your horns. <laughs> mm hmm. My little demon. Fierce, fiery, filled to the brim with evil. I could see it in your eyes. I could see how wicked your smile is giving. Continue to make me proud, like you've always done. And you'll be a marvelous demon one day. With extraordinary powers and capabilities beyond your wildest imagination. You will be a powerful demon one day. A force to be reckoned with. My perfect spawn. 
<laughs> Make me proud, little one. Now off with you. Go enjoy your gaming machine. <laughs>